What's up guys? So today I'm going to be doing a video on my winter washing setup. So where I live in the winter time, it gets well below freezing into the negatives. So uh, they use road salt here. So basically it destroys your Jeeps and uh, this is going to show you guys my setup. So this is my original hose that you have to turn off in winter time. So I have a new setup here. Uh, I'll, I'll kind of explain this as we kind of go along here. So first, basically what I'll do, I'll just turn the water on with that little valve. So I'll go downstairs, turn the valve on, and then I have this PEX piping that goes all the way up into the garage. And then basically I have this little quick disconnect, which is super nice. You used to have to manually screw it on, but get yourself a quick disconnect. I have like a 75 foot, um, one of these hoses that kind of expand uh, as when you turn them on. So it's just super lightweight, easy to carry around. So turn the water on. The hose is gonna fill up with water, obviously. And uh, yeah, and then basically you just go ahead. I have this little parking pad area that I pull all the Jeeps on and I'll wash them off after uh, they get a ton of rolled salt. So um, yeah, it's been really nice having this set up. I used to use like, uh, you know, little portable water hoses and that worked okay, but it's nice having the full pressure of uh, your actual hose uh, to the house. So, but uh if the salt's really caked on, you could use salts gone. I've used that before. Stuff works great. Um, but uh, you can, I just usually just every time I drive, I just wash the Jeeps off and this is kind of how I do it. So this is kind of be the interesting part. So the piping comes into the house here and then there's like a T-junction here that you'll see in a little bit. So that T-junction, you turn the water off. All right, so you turn the water off and then you follow this T-junction that goes all the way to the stationary tub, just down, just down there, just a stationary tub. And I got another valve on there that when I open it up, all that water that's in the line drains directly into the stationary tub. So I have no water sitting outside in the line. This hose kind of like automatically kind of closes up on itself. Use the quick disconnect to pop it off. I close the hose, the end up here with that valve. And now basically, I grab the hose, take it downstairs, and that's pretty much it. So that's kind of my setup. Uh, it's worked really well. Uh, the pipes don't freeze, and that PEX will expand too. So I'd advise probably using that stuff over just like regular piping. But uh, but yeah, that's kept my Jeeps rust-free in the winter in Wisconsin, uh, which is uh, really difficult. I mean, it is a little bit more extreme what I do. Obviously, washing my Jeep every time I drive it, but... Um, it keeps it nice and that's worth it to me. So uh, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Hopefully this helped you out on if you don't have like a heated garage set up uh, where you can just have your water on all the time, have hot and cold. Uh, if you wanted it to be a little bit uh, fancier, you could add a hot water line to it. Um, in the wintertime, you really don't want to be having scalding hot water touching your cold metal paint. Um, you wouldn't want to do that. So I just kept it just having cold water. When it's really cold, the water will freeze um, when it hits, when it touches your Jeep. You have a little bit of time. If you have enough water, it'll at least wash the salt off, and then any leftover water just kind of freezes onto the frame. It's really not that big of a deal, um, but that just figured I would let you guys know about that. So anyway, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Definitely consider subscribing. That helps me out a bunch, guys, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.